Hey everyone, it's Saturday. It's Chat with Mac. Thank you for joining us. Hey, please subscribe. We would love you uh, to subscribe and share the word about what we're doing. People love our topics. We want to share with the world. So thank you for joining us. Nadim, how's it going, sir? Oh, it's going great. Um... A uh, nice Saturday. So what are we going to talk about, man? Yeah, great Saturday, actually. Hey, so I remember you talking about a while back about uh, 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 Chat G we, Well, we did something on ChatGPT uh, and um, Microsoft possibly um, using AI in all its products, and I think it's about to happen. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so uh, recently uh, Satya Nadella at one of the events at Microsoft talked about how they're bringing ChatGPT into a lot of other products. Now, keep in mind, um, OpenAI has a lot of investment from Microsoft, so there's a lot of financial backing that Microsoft has in OpenAI. And so, of course, you know, any technology that Microsoft invests in, they want to bring that technology to consumers and end users. And uh, ChatGPT is one of those technologies, not just ChatGPT, but AI overall. Mm. And uh, I don't know if you recall, but I think about a year ago, we were talking about how AI has so much uh, um, R&D happening that, that it's going to start changing the world. I remember that. <clears throat> and now that. we are at that point where all these technologies are almost ready for prime time. And things uh, that uh, we we couldn't have imagined before, you know, like natural English language interaction with a machine, that was, I mean, just just a few months ago, that was like hard for people to imagine, and now people do it like almost on a daily basis, right? Yeah. So, and it's not just Microsoft; it's you know every large technology company out there uh, is is pushing really hard on AI because this is what's going to change the world. Yeah. So. We had that industrial revolution, and I think the next one is going to be the AI revolution, where uh, it's going to basically transform industries. And uh, you know, just like when we went from horse carriages to automobiles, uh, when we go from using humans for intelligence and then using machine for in the mundane intelligence, right, the repetitive intelligence that we need. Do, let the machine do that and then reserve the human intelligence for things that only a human can do. Right. Right. Now, Satya gave a very good example, uh, and this was from a village in India uh, where um, uh, the, the, the government actually used ChatGPT to help the villagers automatically fill out aid forms through ChatGPT. Now, the, the problem they were trying to solve is in India, there are a lot of different dialects and languages and stuff. So it's very hard for, you know, for them to have somebody who can translate between all of them, right? So ChatGPT was used to to translate and automatically fill these government forms for for these farmers in, in remote villages. And that basically transformed the lives of these farmers. So think about it. There's there's a few things that happened here. Number one is the AI revolution itself that's that's we're just on the brink of right now. But the other thing that kind of compounded it was the explosive growth of technologies around the world. So if you have a spark in one place, there's a fire in another place. So mm. ChatGPT was done like mm. in, in the US, right? It was, it was, you know, all that invention, the R&D, everything happened in the US, but it was commercialized in India. I mean, so we over here are not, we haven't even commercialized as much as how, how much India has commercialized it, right? The government forms being filled out by AI to help farmers who don't speak the language. I mean, amazing. Wow. And, and, and these are farmers who don't know how to write, they don't know how to read, all they know is how to talk and understand. And they can talk and understand it in their native tongue, fill out these government forms to get help. That was amazing. I mean, it's it's like life changing for these people, right? And and that was just one of the examples that Satya Nadella gave on stage and at 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 one of the events recently. Uh, but as as a bigger AI revolution, we are uh, well as consumers, we don't. I don't think we see it as much, right? Because a lot of the companies are building these technologies on the back end to make our life easier. Now, having said that. Uh, if you guys have used Bing um, search engine, 
then you may have noticed recently that you get that uh, beta uh, uh, little thing in there and you can click on it and sign up for the beta. Now, if you do switch to that beta program in Bing, you will notice how you can talk to it in natural language. It's not that one field of text anymore that you have to type in to search. It's actually a box where you can type in natural English language sentences and it can respond with correspond with you with natural language, right? So that's where the chat GPT portion is coming in uh, into Bing. And and what, you know, just like Satya said at, at the event, Bing is just the starting point. Uh, Microsoft is pushing really hard to bring ChatGPT and and other AI technologies to the whole stack, and and that's why I I say that the the we are you know if you um, imagine we are at the cliff where we're just about to fall off into the world of AI, so all this science fiction stuff that we've been watching it's just about to come true. I mean we're just at that point. Um, and and these are the things that are going to basically, again, exponentially expand what humans have done so far. So if we thought what we had done like within the last hundred years was amazing, we are going to be exponentially doing stuff like that in the next hundred years. So we're not talking about, you know, twice as good. We're talking about exponentially as good. We're, I mean, so the you know the the industrial you know it's like every big revolution that happens you know the the you know the bronze age the industrial age and then the next age that's coming up it's it's not just incremental uh, uh growth that that civilizations have or humanity has it's exponential growth and and this time that growth that delta is going to be the largest because of ai it is I mean, it it has the potential to, of course, transform humanity and also destroy humanity. But I'm not on the destroy humanity Ooh, part boy, of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm more on the on the transform humanity. <laughs> but weren't we weren't we? So I remember, oh god, how many years ago was this? With the emergence of, uh, I think it was Big Blue, uh, when IBM had that, you know, uh, it, it was supposed to be. You know the uh, robot. I think, the, if I'm not mistaken, it beat um, this chess master, or almost beat this chess master. I don't remember. It was many, many years ago. But I remember looking at that. I'm like, "Ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be something else." And that hasn't been almost twenty something odd years ago when Big Blue, or maybe a little less than that. And here we are now. Isn't this basically the fourth progression, if you will? Of, you know, things that steps, if you will, uh, steps that have been going on for years. So let me put it this way. So there are two, two trains of thought around chess. One thing is that machines cannot f do chess very well. And the other train of thought is that uh, machines can do chess very well. Machines can do chess very well as long as there's enough compute power behind them. Mm. Right? I mean, it's only so many moves, right? Mm. If you can calculate all the moves, you can figure out which is the best ne best next move, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the, the so that's not what is happening now. It's not that machines are just going through every move. Now machines have machine. So think of it like this: instead of teaching a monkey to say A B C, a toddler is growing and learning A B C on their own. That organic mm -hmm. growth, that's what we have figured out, is that organic growth. Before, in the past, we've never done this before. That's why it's revolutionary is because in the past, we've the, we've just thrown a lot of data at a machine and it's just extrapolated, okay, these are all the combinations, this is what I'm gonna do. Now, we are actually training machines similar to how a baby learns. There's a difference. Right, and and that's why Chat GPT is really taking over the world. Is because anybody who tries it, they're just blown away. I, I mean, I, yeah. If you <laughs> if you put like, I mean, anything that you, you can think of, just throw it at Chat GPT and see what the response are. And and, and um, you know, most of the times you will be blown away. That yeah. wow, you know, it's like, is it a person in there, right? And it doesn't matter what specific industry it's related to. It's got such a breadth of knowledge about 
a lot of things that it can pretty much talk about any specific industry and go deep. And, and that's what's going to revolutionize the next few decades is now AI coming of age and, and, and really all those things that really don't need human brains, human intelligence, let a machine handle that, mm. right? And, and of mm. course, now there's always uproar. You know, every time there's a revolutionary change, there's always uproar. Oh, they're gonna take human jobs and blah, 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 right? Uh, and it happens every time, you know, like I give the example when when horse carriages went away and automobiles came in, you know, same stuff happened. It, it, it happens every time. But the thing is, humans should be reserved for things only humans can do and let the machines do all the other stuff, right? And and that's how we will make progress. If we keep our minds occupied with the mundane, we will never get to that level. Yeah. It's only when we expand our minds to do things that only we can do that we will be so much better and, and we will make progress that much faster. And of course, it can be debated if is if progress is good or bad, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> it is, what it is. I always think it's great, personally. I, I'm excited, you know, for you know what's going to come behind this. You know, the math. I mean, you grow, especially for those of us that grew up during the age where you know sci-fi films and all of that. You saw, you know, artificial intelligence, for example, like a C-3PO from Star Wars that had this this length and breadth of knowledge that was able to speak, however, you know, dialects that was in the you know Star Wars universe. And now you see this coming. It's like. You know, when art imitates science, it's it's amazing to me personally. Yeah, yeah. You know? So think about this. Think about this. You've you've I mean, you've played with Chat GPT, right? And I'm sure yeah. some of the other people listening yeah. to this, watching this, have also played around with Chat Chat GPT. Mm -hmm. How interactive it is. It's almost like you're talking to a human, right? Yeah, it really now, is. Let's let's take it to another level. Let's think about it this way. If that level of thought or not, I don't want to say thought, let's say that level of AI, if that was behind a, let's say, a robot or, or, or a car, and you can just talk to the car in natural language, you know, and it understands context, right? Like, for example, you know, it's it's raining outside. The car knows it's raining outside. You say, wipers, please, and the car just does the wipers for you. Or even mm -hmm. better, the car sees, you know, sees it's raining outside. It's, of course, it's got sensors, so it can sense that there's rain. And uh, it just turns the wipers on itself. Uh, there's another car oncoming. It dims the lights. Now, this is, this is actually happening right now. You can get cars yep. that do this right now. Yep. But think of it if that was all driven with chat GPT on the back end. Now you can tell the car, you know, hey, play my favorite song. And the car just knows what your favorite song is. How yeah. good is that? You know, <laughs> people people have said that, you know, oh man, my computer is spying on me because sometimes it gives me ads that I haven't even thought of that I need it and I need it, right? So think about if your car can anticipate what you want. What I mean, that's where we are trying to get to is that yeah. that level of technology. Yeah. And and of course, um, you know, if we can use such power for good, there are always going to be some elements that are going to use it for bad. It's inevitable. Yeah. You know. uh, and 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 there are uh, you know <clears throat> some some good people who who are who are trying to uh, see w how far they can bend uh, these technologies. Like I know there are several people who have tested out hacking uh, using ChatGPT, and some of the code that it gives you is just remarkable. I mean, it's 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 uh it's like a piece of art. I mean, it's such cleanly, nicely written and to the point, and it does exactly what you want it to do. Uh, but the thing is, the proof of concept is there that if you can use things like this for good, there's always going to be somebody who's going to try to use it for bad. Yeah. Um, and and you know now as we get more and more into the commercialization of such technologies, I know there's going to be um, a lot more. Uh, compute power available in you know cloud environments like uh, Azure uh, to be able to run your own uh, customized 
chat GPT type flat platform, right? So, I mean, so these are just what, are, what the big technological companies are doing. But think of it once that's available to the very small companies and, and, and how much, I mean, how much progress will we make when, when all these little companies start doing specific focused things using this technology? Mm. Right. Mm. I mean, it's it's just amazing that uh, you know we're we're uh, we're just at that precipice where it's just going to blow wide open and and a whole new world awaits us on the other side. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I think with that we've we've kind of killed Chat GPT now. But uh, try out Bing if you haven't. You know, go ahead and sign up for that beta. Try it out. See how it interfaces. Um, and 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 I just say Bing because you know recently uh, uh, there there was an event that Satya Nadella talked about and uh, but most other you know like even Google's doing its own thing there's there's pretty much everybody's doing their own thing around AI so look into that um, uh, try it out uh, I think you'll 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 see that it's amazing it's not it's not like they would say uh, it's not your granddaddy's AI anymore <laughs> it's different man. <laughs> So with that, uh, everybody have a great day and uh, be safe out there. You guys be safe.